In today's video, I'm gonna talk about recreation and why it's super important you take time for yourself to do the things that you really wanna do. So today is Sunday and in Poland, it's called Niedziela Niehandlowa, which means it's Sunday without work. All the shops are closed. The only thing that's actually open is like gas stations and a few restaurants. The reason why they do this is to emphasize being able to take time off of work, spending time with family, and enjoying the outdoors. Now this is a completely foreign concept to me because in America, it's work, 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 and then when you're done working, work, 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 work. Could you imagine if America just closed on Sundays? Do you know how much tax revenue America would be missing out on? Do you know how much tax revenue Poland is missing out on by being literally closed for one day every single week? But this is an amazing thing for like human beings because we get a chance to relax and unwind and not work and spend time with family doing the things that are actually important in life, not the money hungry, getting you know financial success. Like this is time to relax and spend with family. Now, every Sunday, we try to spend time all together as a family. Us, the grandparents, sometimes we go on walks if the weather's nice and it's sunny. In the winter, not so much because it gets really, really cold. But it gives everyone an opportunity to do things together. And it's not like, oh, I can't because I'm working because everybody has time off today. And so I wanna to emphasize to you to pick up a hobby or revisit hobbies that you liked when you were a kid. In the summertime, I love biking. It's my favorite thing to do. When it's cold, I have less motivation to get on my bike, but the cool thing about me is I like skiing, so when the winter comes around, we can go on a weekend trip to go skiing or just one day. I'm absolutely convinced that every country everywhere on earth should have like a Sunday free day, do whatever you want to do for yourself. Like it helps reset your mind. You know, we get caught up in the rat race of like working extra hours or pushing as hard as we can and we don't unwind. And eventually when we're, you know, 45, 50, we go through a midlife crisis because we've never done the things that we actually wanted to do. So it's nice to get a chance to like be forced to do the things that you want to do. Like I drive rideshare part time and today literally I would get three rides all day if I spent eight hours in the car because nobody's doing anything. Like everybody's walking, everybody's at home, nobody's going to the shops. It's all closed. It would be pointless for me to work today. So think about when you were a kid. What was your favorite thing to do? Did you like to draw? Did you like to paint? Were you super interested in musical instruments? Maybe pick up a guitar or a ukulele or like one of those little mini electric pianos and just start fiddling around. Do something that you think would bring enjoyment to your life and like make you smile. Because who knows, maybe if you did that every single Sunday for two years, you would become ridiculously talented at that one thing and then eventually that might turn into your career path. Like, who knows, you could work every Sunday for the next 10 years on a piano. And then in 10 years, you start composing your own music and then you release a song and it goes crazy and it's a hit and everybody loves it. And you're known as the guy that wrote that song. Like, how amazing would that be to be 52 years old and write your first song and it just goes crazy even if it doesn't like you made a song you made a piece of music you made a piece of art the key thing here is making time for yourself whatever it may be just find enjoyment in life do the things that you're passionate about find yourself a new passion if you don't have anything like i mentioned in a previous video if you don't know how to find a hobby go to wikipedia search up a list and just pick one that piques your interest and do that. Now I know life gets complicated and things build up towards the end of the week and you have chores to do and laundry and cleaning your house. I'm talking about like an hour in the day, just a simple hour, whether it's going to go work out, going for a walk, going to some local tourist destination, maybe even a restaurant with your family, do something that brings you joy and satisfaction in your life. It's the little things in life that are the most important and that they're the most valuable. When you think about the end of your life and the things that you could have done versus the things that you did, I don't want you guys to have regret. I want you guys to think like, you know, I wish I would have spent more time with family. This way you get every Sunday, you spent one day a week 
every single week for your entire life with family. So when you're old, you won't regret spending time with family because you did. You won't regret riding your skateboard or riding your bike or going skiing because you did. You took that one day a week to do the things that you're passionate about. I know I advocate working hard and hustling and cramming in things on the side and after hours when everybody's asleep, but you also need to not stress yourself out. You need to be able to relax. This one day a week gives you a chance to do that. Even the king of hustling and working hard and working on your side hustle, Gary Vaynerchuk, spends eight hours a day watching football on Sundays. I'd love to know what hobbies you guys enjoy doing. Please comment down below. Let me know. Maybe we can start a conversation. Maybe you guys like mountain biking as much as I do and we can become best friends. I mean, you'd have to fly out to Poland if you wanted to ride together, but it's short flight. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Subscribe if you aren't already for more videos like this, and I will see you in the next one.